Good morning. It's Saturday of NAM 2018. I'm here with Dave Friedman. We always appreciate you taking time for us at this early hour to molest you in a convivial sense <laughs> uh, and your vast information about your glorious musical products that you create at Friedman. Can you dig it? I can dig it. I don't even know what I just said. I don't either. <laughs> I think I was being nice. <laughs> um, I'm holding something that's brand new. I'm really digging this guitar. It rings like a damn bell. Feels great. What do we got here? That's our new Friedman Metro D set neck. <clears throat> it's a take on a set neck guitar. I'm right. not going to say it's a Les Paul because it's not. Um, it's a... Uh, <clears throat> The standard body wood on it is a little different. It's an alder back, ah. a maple cap, but a mahogany neck. Got it. It's kind of a weird mix-up, but it sounds really cool that way. It does indeed. Uh, also available with a mahogany back, so you can get that. Um, it comes in uh, different non-aged, pretty ones, maple tops, which we have here, uh, black backs, brown backs, uh, binding, scrape binding, no binding. I like the lived-in look on this <laughs> rascal. It just, it's got that softy, softer, squishy thing. Yeah. I always notice that Relic guitars, everyone goes, there's no difference in the sound with Relics and with that. Well, there's less, I, I would say in very technical terms, there's less goop on it. There's so less the paint. Wood, the wood breathes. Yeah. What's so hard to understand about that? Gear page. I'm just kidding. I, we love you all. Well, actually, you know, if you take the finish even off the back of a neck, it sounds totally different on a guitar. Right. Like, uh, even on a... A set neck style guitar. I've done that before and it's considerably more open sounding. Yes, indeed. When you get that quasi single coil thing happening with humbuckers, I just. <laughs> well, that's the other. The, the, we have the Friedman humbuckers in here, which are, we are now offering as an aftermarket pickup, too. Uh -huh. and, and that definitely has that kind of uh, stringy. Uh, Semi single slash humbucker kind of tone yes. to it because it still sounds good clean in a lot of humbuckers. Well, yeah, they don't sound like poop soap bars or something like not soap bar pickups, but like soap, right? <laughs> clean that still has the chime on it. Oh man, it sounds good. Damn you, David. Now, what am I playing through? We've got a couple of new amplification devices, if I'm not mistaken. Well, maybe we'll just, instead of showing this, well, we can show both. Okay. We have the BE50 Deluxe. Stand aside here. One in white here, which is a custom option, and one in the standard black and gold motif. Right now, we're just on the clean channel of it, which is the Bucks and Betty clean that uh, you've played before. Indeed. Past NAMs. Um, so it's the same clean channel in, in the amp. It's a 50 watt amp, three channels, Full channels. Well, the dirties share an EQ. The okay. Clean, clean has its own EQ, but the dirties have separate gains and masters for each channel. And then it has some power amp voicing features that none of the other amps really have here, <clears throat> which is um, a thump knob, more thump. Yes. Uh, response knob, which is very varying the negative feedback, so it makes okay. it kind of a spongier amp or a bolder, brighter amp. Um, Tighter or flubbier, right? Ish. Yeah, but kind of darker and sweeter and a little more compression with less um, lower. Okay. And then up, it kind of brings in some more brightness and a little more punch to it. Got it. A little more cut. Just depends on what kind of sound you're trying to dial in. Right. And the standard presence that's in the power amp. And voicing, multiple voicing switches, a fat switch on the dirty, bright switches on the clean, um, a high uh, voice switch, which tailors the top end so it can reduce the... Uh, High-end frequency content if you want a darker kind of tone to it. Saturation switch on the back. And a gain structure switch on the back, which we can lower the overall gain of the amplifier. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Very useful. We, we have that in a lot of the amps now. So it's just someone wants a much lighter kind of touch to it. So this is yeah. arguably the most dialable. Most di dialable Friedman to date, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well Make done. it your own. Make it your own, listener, player, whoever you are. You heard the clean. Go on the little beat.
we have a... Queen's upgrade. And we have a more higher gain lead channel. I was just going to say how the neck pickup and the bridge pickup really live together well on this oh, guitar. Because yeah. as we well know, that's not always the case mm -hmm. on dual humbuckered set neck instruments of this type. And here, here's the higher gain uh, sort of lead <laughs> power of rock compels us. <laughs> That's a lot of viscosity, Dave. Yes. Do you dream viscosity and then make it a reality? <laughs> I dream in viscosity. That's a new song. We just came out. I'll give you 50% <laughs> on that. Yeah, thank you. I need that. You inspired me to do it. <laughs> oh, we should also talk about these cool snakeskin covered creations, right? Yeah. New uh, Wildwood uh, limited run. Yeah. Um, of uh, this kind of a matte snakeskin finish on the Wildwood Small Box 50. It really looks and cool, as we were discussing prior. Small Box 50 combo, the Wildwood version, and, and then the, the, uh, the, PT, the, the right? PT, the Pink Taco. Um, it's very cool. It's not, when you, when you think snakeskin, you don't think this. It's a nice matte finish and very cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's not like it's the... Super, uh, the boots that you would have worn in an 80s metal band. No. The, the, I think the matte, the satin kind of finish to it kind of gives it a nice... It's really classy, cool looking. ...classy effect to it. And we should mention that no snakes were hurt in the creation of these amplifiers. Correct. <laughs> I think that's important to point out. At Freeman and Wildwood, we care about the wildlife community. Right, Bruce Beard? That's right. Bruce, here is the over yeah. Bruce is here to make sure this is all straight. <laughs> All right, well, I think we've covered all the glorious things. Now, we should mention that Wildwood did purchase this instrument, so this will be provided. Of course, it's not snatched up by one of the individuals in this room. Uh, it will be available at wildwoodguitars.com. And now we're in the outer lip of the tone chasm, the periphery. I don't even know what I'm saying. Dave, what are we doing here? We're talking about some of your glorious pedals. What do we got? New pedals for this year. The DPOD, dual push button overdrive, based on the BEOD. Two channels, mid knobs now added to it for your mid range that people said we didn't should have had. Yes. And um, blue channels lower, little lower gain. Top channels a little higher gain. They do have internal trim pots still on either channel, just like the original BEOD pedal. So we, <clears throat> this is the amp right now, just clean. And then we'll switch to the blue channel. And now, if you want a lead sound, a little higher gain. I like that kind of talk. Really great to bring, uh, if you're uh, backlining amps and you have a totally clean amp and you need couple versions of grit oh, filth. in one box, filth in one box. So you have the DPOD for all the filth you need. That's quite a versatile weapon of destruction. Because sometimes that happens. You don't know if you're getting a twin or a whatever, and a, you need a little something to grab and go. You plug it in, pow! Bam! Another overdrive that we're doing. The Golden Pearl. Yes. The Golden Pearl is a very light over, overdrive. So. Uh, Ideally suited if you already have a slightly gritty amp and you just want to give it more of the same thing with a little more grain and grit and a little, just a little more. Got it. Not a boost, it, it is actually a drive. Okay. It could also be used into a clean amp for really light drive stuff, so we could like, uh, we can show that. Yep, 
Yeah, very nice. You just need just a little bit of overdrive. It's great for that. And this is the overdrive about the max. It get, gets into a clean amp. Yes. Off. Very but then nice. if you use it into a, uh, like an overdriven, I'm just gonna turn on this other thing, lightly crunchy, and then add it to it. Filth. Yeah, and with this you have a little high frequency cut switch. They'll just vary the top top frequencies a little bit if you need a little sweeter. Also has a three position um, vo a voicing switch which changes the diode clipping. So uh, in the down position it's a little different. Okay. Go back to just the clean amp with the pedal on. Versus where we were. And then the center position on it has no dial clipping, so we get boosty sort of uh, thing with the tone knob. Moving like on. It. Friedman, No More Tears Wah, gold 72 model. Not sure what that means, but I think it's kind of like a Wah from 1972. Or maybe someone was consuming a product that has gold attached to it. Could be. At that time. True bypass switching Acapulco with an LED. Gold. Three position sweep switch on the inside here, underneath the treadle. So uh, in the middle position, it's more of like a, a vintage 70s sort of wah. Okay. And then it gets uh, too, too wider, shall we say. Uh -huh. So the back frequency gets more exaggerated and wider. It also has this a buffer in it that's bypassable if you'd like. Okay. So it can act as your pedal board buffer if you put oh. it at the beginning of the chain. Um, it has a little switch inside. You can bypass it though if you don't need the buffer. You already have one. And uh, it's the same buffer that's in our Buffer Bay product. Nicely done. It works, by God. Sounds good. Awesome. And then, uh, hey, while we're at it, we'll just touch on this. Can't hear? Mike No Mo. Mike No Mo. Mike No Mo! Same cabinet emulation box, or same cabinet emulation circuit is in the run amps. Okay. That we have. We just put it in a little box so anyone can use it with any amp they own. So in a live setting, they can just send this to the front of house. Done. Done. It's not a load. It just plugs in between your speaker and your head. Got it. Similar to... Redbox Red or Box Palmer, or some of the other products on the market. Got a little edge cone off access kind of switch cool. here. Level switch and ground lift. So you have ground loops, little box. It does it all that is necessary. That's it for right here. I think we've done well. We've covered a bunch of cool new pedally devices. And let's talk a little bit about this pedal board thing. I dig that. Yeah, well, I mean, we have our pedal boards we've been offering for a while now. They all come with these uh, pedal board bags. They come uh, in different packages with our power supply that we have, with the buffer bay that we have or not. There's different packages available. Cool. At different retailers on our website. So you provide all the weaponry for the power of rock to be unleashed, is what you're saying? Well, really, about. I started you know, doing rigs originally for, for people and touring guitar players. So really, the pedal board thing is coming home. You know, that's Got what, it. That's, that's my wheelhouse, totally. What do we got here, Dave? First up, new this year, we have the ASM-10 monitor. The ASM-10 monitor is the little uh, brother or little sister, depends on what you prefer, <laughs> right. of the ASM-12. Uh, compact, same power as the ASM, just in a smaller format. Same great sound. 
Excellent. Maybe even better. I love how when you're in Australia they call them fallbacks. <laughs> Give me more in the fallbacks. Uh, so that that kind of rounds out the uh, lineup here. We have the ASC, which is the cabinet voice, full range monitor, ASM, and the ASM 10. Throw it. We have some pretty guitars. Yes, we certainly do. Here of the vintage tees, which you guys are familiar with. And we can move on down the road here. Move on we down have, the line. We have our little pickup display. Behold. Of now our aftermarket pickups that are available. So we have our Anlico 3 single coil pickups uh, wound with uh, heavy form var wire, just like the old ones. Sound really, really exceptionally warm and stratty. Really that hollow, exaggerated sort of strat tone. Yes. And um, we also have the two humbucker, two different humbuckers we use in our guitars, the, the standard classic and the, and the classic plus humbucker. Also available in a neck version, which is a, even a lower uh, DC resistance. Got it. Um, and we have our 90 pickups, which is classic soap bars that we use also in our guitars. All now available for uh, purchase for whatever guitar you want to throw them in. So this is the first time they're offered aftermarket? Aftermarket, correct. Cool. And yep. what were the pickups that were in that gold creature that we were playing? That would have been the um, the uh, classic. classic Plus in the bridge with the standard classic neck. That was those, a good were, those were with raw nickel covers on that guitar also. They sounded damn good. They're available in, in zebra black or with raw nickel covers. I like it. No plate in on the covers, just the raw nickel, the good, the good stuff. I can dig it all. Yep. Good stuff. And then, Anything uh, else we have here? What do we got? We can keep walking, moving around. We have uh, more Cali, Cali offerings this year. Um, the Cali guitar, some different finish options here, as you can see. This one seems to be very, very popular. Yes. This year, everyone like that's a heavy, heavy. Heavy uh, distressing on that one. This looks like an alien incident yeah. of some sort. I like also, it. that black one worn through the sunburst is pretty cool. Yes. And uh, white also worn through the sunburst. Light kind of sonic blues kind of I color. I like that, yeah. It's varying styles and kinds. Nice, pretty. Fancy tops. Non aged. Not aged also, no binding on the neck, rounded over edges, pretty. I like the inlay as well, that's cool. Nice. Vintage S guitar, also re-released this year. Really aged 50s sort of looking pink. I like that. Very cool. Many different colors, worn through, worn through finishes and stuff. Killer stuff. Well, hey, we've got some more footage here with Dave. We really appreciate you taking the time. Greg Cock here for Wildwood. We out.